Whenever we try to think of Mr. Bean and how he will react or would react in, in certain situations that we're thinking of putting him in, I, I always imagine him as a nine-year-old boy. That's how I always see him mentally and in terms of his general attitude to life. And in particular, in terms of his selfishness and his, and his self-centeredness, self-servingness. Um, he is just a very selfish man, very self-absorbed, very self-serving. And uh, so that, I think, is the essence of, of his character. And that's a very sort of childish thing. I mean, sometimes when you, when you see Mr. Bean or, or when you see, you know, a young boy, you think, oh, he seems kind of sweet enough and, and quite innocent, you know, in his, in his outlook. And then it turns out that they're, you know, sadists or they're, or they're, or they're disruptive or they're um, anarchists at heart, really. And I think that's what Mr. Bean is. He's an anarchist. Um, he'll obey the rules as long as they suit him. And if they don't suit him, then he'll, you know, he'll do his own thing. I enjoy the simplicity of him and his comedy and the, um, the sort of universal identification, I think, that, uh, that people throughout the world seem to feel for the character. You know, they love the fact that he's a child. You know, adults are congratulating themselves that they're not like him and children are loving the fact that they are, that he is just like them. Uh, so everyone has a take on the selfishness and the childishness which Mr. Bean displays at virtually every turn.